Electrical muscle stimulation is commonly used in physiotherapy and rehabilitation settings, but has also emerged as a possible supplement to traditional resistance training. Its potential to support muscle strength and recovery makes it a tool of interest for those outside clinical contexts, including recreational and trained individuals. Electrical muscle stimulation works by delivering intermittent electrical impulses to muscles through surface electrodes, which in turn produce muscle contractions. These contractions are similar to those experienced during exercise but are initiated by external stimuli rather than natural nerve signals. Studies have indicated that EMS can be effective in preventing muscle atrophy during periods of immobilization, such as when someone is bedridden or recovering from surgery. By stimulating muscle contractions without actual movement, EMS can help one maintain muscle mass and some level of muscle activity. There is also evidence that EMS might be beneficial for some specific muscle-related injuries by aiding in muscle reactivation and strengthening during rehabilitation. EMS has also been been shown to serve as a complementary tool to other rehabilitation exercises, providing additional muscular stimulation during recovery. However, a significant limitation is the lack of standardized EMS protocols across different studies. The different parameters of EMS applications, such as pulse duration, frequency, intensity, and so on and so forth, vary greatly, making it difficult to compare results or draw consistent conclusions as far as its efficacy goes. A systematic review by McHerdy et al. aimed to analyze the effects of EMS on both strength and neural adaptations in healthy adults, exploring its potential as both a standalone training modality as well as a supplement to conventional resistance training. The review included 10 studies, encompassing a total of 174 participants, predominantly male, um, aged between 18 to 25 years old, with their training status varying from untrained to trained. Overall, EMS training led to notable strength gains across all these studies, with improvements measured through various tests, such as maximal voluntary torque reduction, isometric and isokinetic leg extension strength, and isometric elbow flexion, suggesting that EMS can effectively improve strength under certain conditions. However, the effectiveness of EMS for improving functional performance, like sprint times or dynamic movement, was not as clear. The strength gains from EMS are likely due to its similarities with isometric training, where muscles are contracted without actual movement. Isometric training is known to improve both static and dynamic strength, which explains the observed improvements from the EMS protocols. EMS may have some practical applications for individuals unable to engage in conventional resistance training, such as those recovering from injuries, but EMS is not considered a viable replacement for traditional resistance training when the goal is substantial muscle hypertrophy or maximizing one repetition maximum strength. While it can be a supplement to conventional training, it does not appear to be as effective for muscle growth or enhancing dynamic strength measures to the same degree as traditional training.